That's Freddie, and we're excited to be doing the show for you today. I do have all the papers and prove everybody I'm indeed a professional. Just get it off the bat. <laughs> Sorry, just trying to warm you up. <laughs> it's going to take a little more. All right, to warm everybody up, everybody hands out like this. Everybody do this. All right, now, take all your neighbors. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, palms together like this. Now put your palms away from each other like this. Now everybody put your left hand over your right hand. Oh, it's going to be a long show. <laughs> Place your fingers together tightly. And everybody try and figure out which one your left pinky is and wiggle only your left pinky. It's kind of hard. you got to figure out which one it is. No, not all the fingers, sir. Just give one finger right there. All right, now everybody figure out which one your right thumb is. Wiggle only right thumb. All right, now everybody do this. <laughs> It's not going to work. <laughs> hey, I think I forgot something. The book right here says to make sure that I design a dazzling underwater environment for Freddy. And <laughs> Freddy loves to swim around these little treasure chests that you get at the pet store. You know these? Hey, Freddy, incoming! Oh! He's okay. He's okay. All right, that's Freddy. What's your name? Sarah. That's correct. <laughs> all right, Sarah, as I run through all these cards, I want you to say the word stop anytime. Here we go. Ready? Take anyone you want, but don't even look at it. Just drop it right on the table. Let's build some suspense. And what's your name? Brandon. Brandon, pick a card. Brandon, any card? Free choice. Not trying to force you. <laughs> right, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, now it's got to be that one, dude. But I like you. That's good. Okay. All right, go for it. Take anyone you want. All right, Brandon, that one's a little different. I want you to show that card to everybody in the room. Now, hold on, Brandon. This means you're going to have to do the full display. Show it to everybody. All the way over here. Tilt it nice and slow. Make sure that everybody in the room sees the card. Now, Brandon, there's a big light right here that's shooting out this way. So if you extend your arm into the light right about here and then start tilting it, that'll help. I'll turn my back first. Okay, a little higher for all the cameras. Just kidding. Coming back around, Brandon. Coming back around. All right, now, Brandon. Come back around. Much better trick when the magician doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take your card, place it right there, but everybody watch close. Everybody always wants to take the magician's cards before he gets into magic. What do they always want to do with them? They want to shuffle. They never trust the magician. They want to make sure that you don't have them in some type of order or stack or all the aces are on the top or anything like that. So how about before we do anything at all with cards, we're really going to give them a good shuffle. 
but I'm going to do it like this. So they go face up, face down. It's going to make a mess out of all the cards with Brandon's card somewhere in there. How's that? No. <laughs> I like that, everybody. Ooh. <laughs> Look, I can use the letters to try and fire you up. Oh. Okay, there we go. Ah. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now it really does make it hard for me to find Brandon's card, especially when these cards are all mixed up like this. I mean, you push the cards together, you then give them a bunch of cuts, and the cards should now be all over the place. Look at this. We even have a perfect pattern going with the cards. There's some that are even face-to-face, -face, some that are even back-to-back. -back. Now, hopefully, I can fix this mess and at the same time find Brandon's card. Hopefully being the key word with this routine. It should take one quick turnover and smack. That'll turn them all back to normal. Oh. oh, thanks for pointing that out. Except for one card right there. Brandon, what was your card? Two. 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 Wow, you did that with That was fantastic. See your lips move. Did you say it was a two? Yes. A little more information, please. Two, two diamonds. They're going to love you in Vegas. Two of diamonds? Yes. Two of diamonds, right there. When it works. <laughs> All right, your card, Sarah. If you don't think that the cards were mixed up good enough, this time we're going to do the same exact trick, but we're going to do it with four piles. So it's going to make it four times harder for me. So don't forget four times more astounding. Yeah. Good timing. All right, face up, face down, they all get shuffled. Now make sure that it's definitely happening, too. No sneaky moves going on. I'm just putting two stacks of cards together. First two. That was legitimate, right? Next stack. Who said no? <laughs> that was legitimate, right? You could have you come up and shuffle if you like. Who said that? Remember this? It's not TV. I can hear you too. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next stack. Face up, face down, and the final stack. So these cards should be integrated as best I can get them. This is going to make the magician's nightmare out of all the cards. All right, now wouldn't it be amazing if I could find Sarah's cards somewhere Within this mess, it'd be yes. a miracle. Yes. Sarah still has it, it's still sitting right on the table. <laughs> hey, wait a second. You know what? I don't see any hearts here. You know what, Sarah? You must have stolen my heart. Aww. 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 The reason why I know that is because if I were to spread these cards out the opposite way, I should have right here. The ace, two, three, missing the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and the king of hearts. Every one of the hearts, with the exception of one right there, the four of hearts. What do you have, Sarah? Four of hearts. Four hearts! <laughs> this one, I have absolutely no idea how it works. This is one of those ones where the book tells you to put the four piles together, and it ends up like that. It's fantastic. <laughs> Right, thanks for volunteering. Let's have you put your feet together. Right, back up just a little bit, right on the trap door. Madison, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? California. California. Hanging out in Maui. Got this down yet? <coughs> Alright, you got it. Okay, perfect. And how old are you? Ten. Ten years old. And one last question. Have you ever heard of a magician named David Copperfield? You have? All right. You've seen him. Did he fly? Unbelievable. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, most people have actually, at your age, haven't have heard of David Copperfield, but he's probably one of the biggest magicians of this century. I believe every hundred years, there's always going to be a magician's name that people will always remember. If you ask somebody to think of a magician from way back in history, almost always people will say, Houdini. Harry Houdini. This lot of hundred years could be David Copperfield. Or who knows? Brenton Keith! Statue of Liberty disappear. He does all those real cheesy, I mean creative uh, illusions, you know, where he cuts people in half and he's real serious. You know, some magicians are real serious. They get these looks, you know, and uh, you know, when they've got the blades and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, some magicians. Are... <laughs> so I need you to help me make this next effect look really dramatic, Madison. So put your left foot forward and go like this. Yes! Yeah. This excitement! Just practice. So I'm going to bring some props up, put them up on the table. Right when I bring them up, I want you to do it again this time. A little more feel. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> and now, all we need to do is 
mean, that was a fan blowing her hair would be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's show everybody what's inside these checkered looking tubes. Take the tube off whatever you got there. That's right, folks, we've got bottles. Bottles over once filled with strawberry jumping juice. Now, Madison, these bottles are indeed glass, so it's very important we're handling the bottle to not drop it on your foot. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> now, if you could, please grab... Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I apologize. Uh, will you please grab that? I'm sorry. Oh, gotcha again. <laughs> pick me! Pick me! <laughs> All right, Madison, show everybody that the tube is empty. This could take a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and now I'll take the bottle, put it in the palm of the left hand. Don't do that flip thing. All right, all right now I'll take the tube, cover up the bottle, hold that solid and firm. Have you got it? Take your right hand, hold it over the top, turn it around once, turn it around again, lift it up halfway, show everybody it's still there. Perfect. Now, turn it around one more time. One more time again, one more time again. Now lift it up, show everybody it's turned right side up. Then go from right side up, back up one more time, to right side up again. Perfect. All right, I think you can do it. All right, so show that it's there. Then take it, turn around once, just do a quick little wave, and then lift up, show it's right side up again. Then go from right side up, back up one more time, to right side up again. Unbelievable, that's great. You know, since we're doing such a good job, let's speed it up. Start with it upside down, show everybody it's upside down, then go snap the fingers, then just show it's right side up again. Then go from right side up, back over one more time, to right side up again. You got it. Then go from right side up to right side up, then snap the fingers, go to upside down, then right side up, back over time to right side up. And a thunderous round of applause for Madison! I can't believe you picked it up so fast. That's really good. What do you want to do now? <laughs> want to play a practical joke on the audience? You like practical jokes? Gags? I love them. Gags are my favorite. Here's a great one involving a bowling ball. Now, Madison, tell everybody that's a real bowling ball. It's a real bowling ball. It's a real bowling ball. ball. Bottom line, if you were to drop that on your foot, it would hurt. <laughs> Thing is about these bowling balls, they sure are heavy. Here, catch! No. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that one right there. <laughs> oh, <it's a> bowling ball. <laughs> it bowled you over there with that one, huh? Ever seen Money Fly? Yeah. It's the first thing I learned right when I moved to Hawaii. <laughs> I'll show you. Watch. Money fly, watch. And that right there is using Lisa's one hundred dollar bill. It's a string! <laughs> Can you really see it from where you're sitting? <laughs> I thought I had all the angles covered on that one. I love the theories, though. The theories are the best. One time somebody shouted out, I know how you did it. It's a trick! <laughs> they were serious, too. <laughs> but Lisa, that was your $100 bill. You passed it down and crumbled it up made it fly. Everybody always thinks it has something to do with the bill, but everybody knows these new $100 bills. There's so many different anti-counterfeiting things. There's the microstrip in it, the holographic printing. Another thing not a lot of people realize is the paper at the mint is so durable that no matter how old the bills get or if you jump in the water with them, which happens a lot here on Maui, uh, you can always work the creases out of the bills, almost always. The other obvious way to tell from uh, bills is the serial numbers. There's always two letters followed by eight numbers, then one more letter. Hey, Lisa, you mind if I try something new with your 100? Go ahead. Yes. All right, let's see here. What's, uh, what's your name now? Heather. Heather, how are your eyes? Not very good. <laughs> this is a magic show for you then, huh, Heather? <laughs> yeah, let's go to that magic show and listen. <laughs> All right, let's see. How about you? What, how are your eyes? Good. All right, what's your name? Brandy. Brandy. Can you see the serial number on that $100 bill? <laughs> I'm going to have you read that off in a nice loud voice, and what's your name, ma'am? 
Marshall. We're going to have Marshall. Did I say it right? Mm -hmm. Marshall recorded. Maybe landscape, not portrait. Nice and big so everybody can see. Careful, the Sharpie. <laughs> 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 nice to see. Yep, there you go. All right, go for it. A. A. Nice and big B. so everybody can see. Yeah, there we go. A. No. A, B. A, B. Oh, I can't hear. Okay. A, B. Well, <laughs> Zero, seven, two, seven, one, five, three, nine, X. Hey, have you guys seen these new retractable Sharpies? These are great. These are almost like magic themselves. Actually, they are. Let me show you something. This is greatest thing ever. Not a lot of people realize they're so sharp. You can get them to go right through things. But this is the best part. Watch this. No hole. <laughs> I love it. All right. I want you to read the serial number one more time, nice and loud. And you guys follow along here and make sure it's right. A, B, 0, 7, 2, 7, 1, 5, 3, 9, X. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And good job, Michelle, for uh, doing the E into a B. <laughs> All right, now everybody knows that there's only one serial number to a bill. They're kind of like thumbprints. You can never, ever duplicate bills. There's no way that, uh, that, that we can have another $100 bill like the one in Lisa's purse. All right, uh, here's what I need you to do. Hand that $100 bill back over here to Brandon. All right, Brandon, I want you to hold it up really high with Ben Franklin looking at you. Now look at me, Brandon. Let go with your left hand. <laughs> Let's go to private schools. <laughs> All right, Lisa, this is a great trick, but it works. All right, Brandon, I want you to read that serial number one more time as it burns. A, B, zero, seven, two, seven, one, five, three, nine, X. Is that right? Yeah. Drop it. Lisa, don't worry. Don't worry. This is a really good illusion. <laughs> it's a good illusion because there's four senses involved. There's a sense of sight. You all saw it burn. There's also the sense of smell. There's also a sense of touch. Got a little warmer, especially for you, right, Brandon? Four senses. That was three. <laughs> What's that? That was three. No, I got them all. Sight, smell, touch. <laughs> I see the sense of loss. Possibly five if Lisa has a sense of humor. Right, now, Lisa, don't worry. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully restore your $100 bill from the ashes. Wait. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Bummer. They say, do you have another hundred? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a rope trick. I know lots of rope tricks. Take Rocky out by hand. I'll still get him to do all the tricks. What's wrong, Rocky? Everybody's nice. Good crowd. No, don't worry. Lisa's not upset about her five dollar bill. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, easy. I got you, buddy. I got you. Sometimes he gets shy. It's okay, Rocky. It's okay. It's okay, Rocky. It's okay, buddy. I got food for you. Now, as long as you keep Rocky fed, he's usually pretty happy. It's okay. All right, now let's see if we can get Rocky to do a couple of tricks. Get it on. All right, ready, Rocky? Sit up. Woo! Perfect. All right. And roll over. Roll over. Woo! Good job, Rocky. Let's do that back flip now. Ready? Back flip. Woo! All right. But can he dance? Can he boogie? All right, ready, Rocky? Take a deep breath. And boogie! <laughs> Now, sometimes Rocky gets pretty thirsty after all this stuff. Rocky, thirsty buddy, want a drink? Okay, good, because we're doing a little experiment with Rocky. <laughs> now, it looks like a regular old Dixie cup, doesn't it? Because it is. And we're going to take the mysterious, never-ending water and pour it into the cup. Anybody go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> right, now we give Rocky a drink. Now, Rocky, don't drink at all. We haven't experimented with the mysterious, never-ending water. We have that illusion coming up soon. Say, Rocky, don't. Hey, don't drink at all. <laughs> oh, he's okay. Let him go. Hey, Rocky, whatever you do, don't drink at all. Hey, Rocky, I said not to drink at all. Hey, Rocky! 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 Oh, no. Rocky just drank it all. Last time Rocky drank too much, he stiffened up and... Oh, Rocky, no! <laughs> on a very big illusion, the big stuff. So if I could have you all please sit back and relax. I hope you all like Rocky's big illusion.
I'm gonna have two cards selected. All right, Brandon, take a card, any card. Totally random. That's important. Now, I want you guys both to hold your cards up high into the light, tilt them nice and slow. Now, folks, it's very important you remember these two cards. If you forget them, the trick's not nearly as good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Coming back around. All right, Sarah, take your card, put it somewhere in the pack. Now, guys, I have to be honest with you. The reason why I've had two cards selected is because this Increases my odds. <laughs> if I get only one of these cards on the tip of this umbrella, I'll be happy. Hopefully you guys will be too. Especially you, Lisa. <laughs> Alright, now when we do this, it's going to be very messy. Cards are going to go everywhere, but it's going to look good. Alright. Here we go. One! No, everybody help out in counting, okay? It's a big part. All right, here we go. One. Two! <laughs> no, everybody, everybody. All right, here we go. One, three. All right, everybody, from the beginning, here we go. One, two, three. I did it! I got one card right there on the tip of the umbrella. And that card looks to me like the Queen of Spades. Was that one of the cards? Yeah. I did it! Remember I said, if I only got the one, I was happy. I am curious though, I did miss the other card. What was the other card? Two, two what? Two of hearts. Two of hearts? That must have been one of these other ones. I must have missed that. Consolation prize. I got something a little different. <laughs> you know what, Lisa? I'm feeling kooky. You can have Freddy. Or you know what, Lisa? You can have the treasure chest. I'm sure the pearls are worth something. Wait. <laughs> Careful, Freddy! <laughs> 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 
Gee, you could let a little more well, water drip into the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon, take the rubber band off of the treasure chest. Now, guys, I know you probably weren't expecting this much adrenaline and excitement. <laughs> take the lid off the treasure chest. Hold it up high. Hold it up real high. Is that Lisa's dollar bill? <laughs> Pull that out of there! <coughs> Unroll it! <coughs> hey, Lisa, from where I'm standing, that looks like a hundred dollar bill! Wow. Inside of the treasure chest for Freddie! It's a hundred dollar bill right there! Is that my check serial, serial number? Oh, good idea! Let's check that! Let's check that! All right, now, remember, Brandon was reading that serial number as it was burning. Yes. Go for it. Right. A, B, Zero, seven. Slow down, Turbo. This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make this dramatic. We each one. A, B. Brandon, Brandon. A, yeah. B. Zero, seven, two, seven, one, five, three, nine, X. Right there.